In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the following problem. Two semicircles are drawn in a square with a side length of 8. A full circle is then drawn tangent to all three shapes. What is the radius of that circle? Let's start off by drawing a line connecting the center of the circle to the center of one of the semicircles. We can break this line segment up into two distinct portions. The first portion is the radius of the pink circle, which we can call r, and the second portion is just the radius of the semicircle. We know the diameter of the semicircle is 8, and therefore the radius must be half that, so of length 4. Now let's also drop down a line from the center of the circle to the base of the square. This line has the same length as this dotted line, which is just the radius of the semicircle. We know the radius of the semicircle is of length 4, therefore the vertical blue line that we just drew must be of length 4 as well. Notice that we've formed a right triangle here. We know the length of the hypotenuse of this right triangle is 4 plus r, and that the length of the longer leg is 4. Now let's try to find an expression for the length of the shorter leg, so we can ultimately apply the Pythagorean theorem to find r, the radius of the pink circle. Well, we know the length of this green dotted line segment is r, since it's the radius of the pink circle, therefore the length of this segment at the bottom must be r as well. We also know that this entire segment is of length 4, it's the radius of the semicircle, therefore the base of the right triangle must be of length 4 minus r. Now let's apply the Pythagorean theorem on this right triangle to determine the value of r, which is the radius of the pink circle. If we do so, we get 4 minus r whole squared plus 4 squared equals 4 plus r whole squared. Now let's expand these squared terms. 4 minus r whole squared is 16 minus 8r plus r squared plus 4 squared, which is 16, equals 4 plus r whole squared, which is 16 plus 8r plus r squared. Now let's simplify this expression a little bit. If we subtract r squared from both sides, then this term and this term disappear. And then if we subtract 16 from both sides, that gets rid of this term and this term. And now we're left with 16 minus 8r equals 8r. Now let's add 8r to both sides. That'll get rid of this minus 8r term, and we'll be left with 16 is equal to 8r plus 8r, so 16r. And now if we divide by 16 on both sides, we get that r, the radius of the pink circle, is equal to 1. And that's all there is to this problem. Alright, so that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed, leave it a like, and if you want to be notified when I post more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.